Okay, so we're going to do a little base tour on foot. So we come up to your front door and we have the double door trick guided by two auto turrets who, as you can see, have got line of sights through that gap. So then the raider would have to deal with these two doorways here. So let's just say they've destroyed them, come through, still got these auto turrets, you've got these two up here and you've got this one central. So that should slow anybody trying to break in through the front door. Let's close them two up, leave these open when you go offline. Then we'll come through and this is basically just door honeycomb to slow down door raiders. All these doors are sheet metal. If you've got access to armoured, use armoured. And then we come in and we've got the double door trick again. So let's just close them two up and we'll come through. And here's where the magic happens. So with this is a hidden bunker base and the way the hidden bunker works is at the end of the night you come up here, you pick this up, you pick this up and you put all your good loot in them two bottom boxes there and then you F, F1 kill and you spawn in down here and then you can transfer all the loot through these two boxes stick all your resources in the cupboard stick all your loot in the boxes and you've got more loot storage down here and you have another two boxes up here so you've got three five big boxes and three little ones so that's more than enough I'd just put all the stuff you don't want to lose down here like your resources you see for your weapons your valuable stuff and I'll probably leave some crap up here just to get the raiders going if you know what I mean so now we're showing that let's sit back up and then before you F1 and kill you'll want to put your reinforced window back in or bulletproof glass give it a few whacks with a hammer and then put your embrace back on lag and well you'll have to have a box somewhere around here with your hammer and a bit of metal frags in but that won't be too difficult once you see what's behind these doors so we've got uh, research tables workbenches conveniently placed this floor is just more of a working floor you bring in scrap in you bring in resources in and this is where your base is going to be active really your working floor so then behind there we have a furnace a level 3 workbench then round here we've got a little food area just for cooking, storing water and then here we have a little loot room and then round this side we have another loot room and then we have a ladder hatch just here now this is where your TC is behind this hidden if you wanted to armor this up I recommend it so that's the other loot room we've just seen so now we've got two shotgun traps if anybody does manage to get up to here. And this is your main living quarters, just a bit of somewhere for you to chill. We've got lockers next to your bags so if you get killed you can respawn, grab a gear set, get out there. We've got furnaces up here, we've got a, a fireplace. I don't usually use these or build it but I thought it looked cool, let's stick it in for the meme. And then uh, We've got food area again, bit of water storage, we've got auto turrets in the corner, we've got shotgun turrets in that corner. And we have two loot rooms here, guarded by a shotgun trap, and another one here. So in all in all there's quite a lot of loot storage in this space and it's pretty spread out. Like I said I leave some stuff up here so if you did get raided they don't find your TC, they don't find your good loot, they might just leave it at that and you can come back on and rebuild quite easily. So now that's your main living floor shown. We sip up, we've got one layer, two layer, three layers of roof stacking and that's pretty much the base done. So now we're going to get into the base build, let's do it. <laughs> 